Welcome back. Abu Dhabi's state-owned international petroleum investment, IPIC, has announced that its 2012 net profit rose to 6.4 billion dirhams from 164.1 million in 2011. So before we take a look at the day's business news, let's first take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. And in our top business story, Sharjah's Investment and Development Authority, Sharouk, announced to visitors at the Arabian travel market the launch of a new ecotourism project located just 65 kilometers off the UAE's coastline on the Arabian Gulf. This morning, company representatives unveiled a small-scale model of the Sir Bounaire Island project, which will add to the destinations and attractions in Sharjah. Valued at 500 million dirhams, the tourism development will comprise of a residential area of 70 serviced apartments, private villas, a five-star hotel, as well as a campsite for those who enjoy the outdoors. In addition to this, there will be commercial features such as traditional souks, a museum, retail outlets and even an education centre. Students from neighbouring Emirates will be given the opportunity to conduct their case studies and research of the environment at the centre. The company's CEO, His Excellency Marwan bin Jassim al sarkal stated that the project will be completed by the end of 2017. I've been in a couple of meetings with different schools and they were always telling us why don't we have a place where kids can actually, students can actually come do their case studies, uh, do some teamwork, do environmental studies, uh, study the current uh, waters. And guess what? We're going to have it in our future, future project. And in Sir Bin Air, we made sure that happens. We have an education center. So imagine you, you have a daughter, seven-year-old daughter, goes out instead of going to a regular park. She goes to an island. And guess what? She actually learns how to, be, to become a leader. Since childhood, go out there, look at the animals, appreciate what God gave us when it comes to landscape, and work as a team. The island was declared a protected site in 2000 by the government of Sharjah. And the Sharouk team aims to show their commitment towards sustainable development and preserve the uninhabited area. Most of our projects, we have set guidelines of how can we actually reduce carbon footprint, how can we change people's habits about using water, energy, and making them feel that after visiting, whether it's Kalba or Sir Bun Air, making them change the way of how they actually look at things. The Ras Al Khaimah Tourism and Development Authority announced this week at the Arabian Travel Market a new set of five-star hotels that will open over the next five years. And the Waldorf Astoria under the Hilton Worldwide Hotel Group is one of them. The International Hotel Group started off in Rack with a single property, the Hilton Ras Al Khaimah Resort and Spa. Almost a decade later and the new luxury hotel will be added to the collection. Considered to be the first Waldorf Astoria to enter the UA market, company representatives stated that the property will be unique to the other 27 hotels, which are spread across the world in areas such as New York, Berlin and the Netherlands. Scheduled to be completed in 2017, it will offer 349 sizable rooms, a selection of 10 F&B facilities, a 600-metre beach, two outdoor swimming pools, as well as access to Alhambra's golf course, marina and shopping centre. Tourism officials confirm that by the end of the year, they hope to attract 1.2 million visitors, and by 2016, they aim to have 10,000 hotel rooms in total. Uh, the mice is on the, our pipeline because there is the increase of the number of, uh, of rooms because now in 2012 we end up with 2,994 rooms and this year in 2013 our inventory will increase by 2,000 rooms. 
band and by end of uh, this year we will uh, reach an inventory of 5,000 rooms. Then we will be able to tackle this segment. This is, will be basically the first upscale uh, hotel in Ras al-Khaimah and um, the, the, the government itself was really wanted to have an icon that people can recognize Ras al-Khaimah when you look to the building of Ras al-Khaimah from the world of Astoria and I believe yes it will as well create a niche market where we can have a, a luxury sort of client visiting the, the emirate of Ras al-Khaimah. The RAC's TDA vision won't be possible though without the support of RAC International Airport. In Q1 of this year, the port showed significant growth results of 31% more revenue than the corresponding period last year. The airport also witnessed an increase in passenger traffic for Q1, bringing the total to 135,000 travellers. Rack Airways, the newest carrier of the UAE, is planning to extend their fleet and acquire more aircrafts. Uh, Rack Airways has to cope up with the development and the potential of tourism in the Emirate of Ras Al Khaimah. And uh, uh, this year we have, uh, have a good growth of 35% to 40% in passenger. But we are looking at also to expand our uh, network and to cope for the uh, great and big demand coming to the Emirate from Europe and uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, especially for the tourists who are coming and enjoying our uh, nice beaches and mountains. Uh, Rak Airways will be expanding and acquiring more aircrafts and uh, for that also the airport has to expand its facilities and infrastructure for the uh, coming uh, growth. Mm -hmm. We have planned to expand in Saudi to Dammam and we are expanding uh, to uh, Colombo and other destinations in the Middle East. Kenya Airways will offer three flights a week between Abu Dhabi International Airport and Nairobi, Kenya, starting from Monday the 1st of July. The three flights a week are planned for Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Engineer Ahmad Al-Hadabi, the Chief Operations Officer of ADAC, was quoted as saying that the partnership will allow for increased trade, travel and connectivity between the two growing economies. He added that the new route will also further enable Abu Dhabi International Airport to act as the Middle East's gateway to Africa, the second most populated continent in the world. The UA car market recorded 27% year-on-year growth in the first two months of 2013, off the back of a strong performance in the country's economy over the past three years. According to a report issued by Business Monitor International, it's been forecast that there will be record sales of 380,000 vehicles this year, compared to 305,000 in 2012 and 243,000 in 2011. BMI added that they forecast the market to grow by an average of nearly 9% year-on-year for their five-year forecast period through to 2017. Factors driving this growth are favourable macroeconomic conditions and household spending, increased access to vehicle financing and the migration from neighbouring states. The report added that in the long term, the new vehicle segment will also receive support from the growing regulations in the used car segment, which are gaining popularity among budget-conscious consumers.